Alright, what is up everyone? It's been a while. I've been super busy doing some 1-1 one -one car stuff, but I'm excited to be here today because um, I don't know if you guys pay attention to the Lamely Group, or Lamely Group, however you say it. I'm probably messing it up, but they had an open call for writers a uh, few, probably a month or two back, and um, I submitted my portfolio stuff that, that I had done on Live and Let Die Cast and a few other things, and I am now a at-large writer contributor to the Lamely Group, so I'm so excited about that. Um, and what we have in front of us today is a post that I just finished up tonight that will be on the blog sometime, um, featuring these three awesome takes on the bat cycle i'm a huge batman fan i know you guys are probably huge batman fans too um i know hot wheels has done a ton of hot or, uh, batman stuff recently with their just main lines and then the 150 50 or, or 55th scale cars so um I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and dig into these so um, what i did is i did a post on um these three and they are different brands in different years which is which is kind of cool and I like how they span the different Batman series um, so first of all on this left side we have the Corgi Jr. or Corgi it's it's kind of up in the air um, whether it's a Corgi Jr. or Corgi they kind of go back and forth on the names but um, the bat cycle here with the Batman character um, on it and then here we have the Ertl 1993 bat cycle from Batman the animated series and that is one of my favorite Batman series of all time it's great storyline and this bike looks great and we'll take a look at it um here in a second and a closer look and then the bat pod bat cycle from um dark knight dark knight rises from hot wheels so let me get to oh 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 there he is um which is pretty cool and this one they've released it a few times but it has the bat figure so we'll take a look at each of them here um a little closer so first off is the corgi bat cycle uh this came out in 1978 let's figure off here um it's a it's a pretty cool casting you can see the details um like the motorcycle engine there in the long exhaust it's pretty cool i do like it it looks like a like an old cafe racer style bike um it didn't really come with a lot of things on it as you could tell it's pretty bare bones um the only markings that on it are it'll be hard to see but right there it says corgi 1978 there it goes uh and DC, or it actually says DC Comics 1978 um, under the front fairing. And then that is the only mark on the bike that's actually Batman, is that little Batman sticker. And a lot of these, like, it's a little bit rough shape. It's dirty, but it's still on there, which I like. It has that age, like, almost like barn fine look to it, which I think is cool. Um, but they also made, and I mentioned this in the blog post too, that they made, Corgi made a Spider Man version. And that had a larger front fairing with almost like, it looks like a machine gun or some kind of ray gun on it, but the Batman one went pretty simple. So you can see it is a, a relatively simple casting. It's pretty small. It weighs a decent because it is a nice die cast. It's nice and heavy. It's old school die cast, so it is heavy. You can see Corgi right on the wheel, which is cool. I'm trying to see if it says anything else. Uh, hang on, let me take it out and see what it says. Oh, it says made in Great Britain. Okay. Oh, let's go back on it this thing so corgi made in great britain if you can see that's kind of hard to see but the cool thing about this is they made the tires i don't know if you can see that but they made them relatively flat so that this bike will actually stand on its own Ta-da! so that's really nice i like that because um a lot of motorcycle die casts like if you look at the dirt bike from hot wheels just in their main line it doesn't stand up by itself so that's that's nice that they did that but this one also came with this little batman figure like look at his face He's like oh but I, I think it's pretty cool for old school like it it is two color it's aged so it has some yellowing to it and kind of see some wear to it but it fits the bike perfectly let's see if i can get that like he looks like he's going like five thousand miles an hour on this thing but it's cool. Like, I love that it's old school. I love the Batman. It's two color. The gray and blue Batman are pretty cool. I, I really dig those colors. With the yellow, it just fits it awesome. Let's see if I can get to stand up here with Batman. There you go. So that's cool that it stands up by itself, too. So um, I give it a rating. I think I can't remember what I gave it on the, the blog, but I think I gave it a 6 or a 7, maybe even 8 out of 10. Um, just because I like the vintage, I like, for 40, what, 42 years ago, 
uh, this is pretty good. Like the quality, you can see the quality of the Batman is pretty nice. Like the features are pretty nice. The bike is overall pretty nice. So this is cool. This is a cool one to add to your collection. If you like collecting vintage stuff, this, uh, I like old quarry stuff. This is a good one. Oh, so the next one, um, you'll notice I have a bat, a bat cave in the background. That's actually the nano metal figs bat cave. Um, and this is the nano metal figs Batman because the next one is, one even there it goes. Um, it's a great looking Batman. It's die cast. It's metal. It's heavy. Um, because the next bike is the 1992-93 Ertl Batman the Animated Series Bat Cycle. I love that series. I think that Batmobile, the take on their like Art Deco 50s Batmobile, is just awesome. And I think like their Bat Plane or Bat Jet, whatever they call it on there, is, is one of the best as well. Um, but this came from Ertl 92-93. And it did not come with a, a figure, which I'm disappointed. So I used the Nano Metal Fig one um, for pictures with it, which it actually fits pretty good. It looks like it's a similar size. Somebody needs, I mentioned this, somebody needs a 3D print one to fit on this because this would look sick with the Batman riding on it. But overall, this is a nice casting. It's very clean. The tampos are very nice on it. The wheels are a little, a little odd, but they're flat. Like they're can see the the one thing I mentioned when I write about this is that I don't know if you can see that but like the give and the axle so when you lay it down it stands up but it doesn't roll at all and I like stuff that rolls the Corgi one rolls the the Hot Wheel one rolls as we'll see in a second so um but overall this is a cool take on this bike and I believe it's the only 164th bat cycle from batman the animated series that you could get or can still get um i mean it's it's heavy look at that it's it's a beaut i like it i wish it, I wish it would be more in focus there it goes they use the batman um like batman batman returns like the 89 very early 90s bat bat logo it's a cool bike though i took some awesome pictures of it on like the bat stand on the back cave uh, i'll see if i can scoot this a little closer without knocking over the camera but this is an awesome bat set it's the nano metal figs one they're like 20 or 30 bucks on ebay now you could get them at walmart but like this on there just looks awesome and then when you pair it with the batman that's supposed to go on it i mean it looks good the whole thing it has a light to light up the bat signal it looks sweet so if you're a fan i mean this is kind of a general bat bat cave so you can use it like they actually have spots here and wherever for the figure it's cool and the little garage door opens Whoop. um but i like it. it i took some pictures of the 66 hot wheel batmobile on there and it doesn't really it's more like the 89 to current bat cave or maybe not dark knight but like the 80s 90s early 2000s bat cave but it's it's well worth it it has it's it's cool for pictures for sure um oh snap and that comes off look at that oh sweet dun, dun, dun. that's rad so that just sticks back in there to change the batteries but um the last one we'll take a look at is the hot wheels bat pod this is technically not a bat cycle um if you're going by the the dictionary terms for it or whatever it's properly named uh, but it is a take on a bat cycle this is cool because um the dark knight dark knight returns or dark knight rises um great movies they really changed the way we looked at batman the tumbler batmobile changed so much in the way of Batmo batmobiles and how they're shaped and now even the upcoming batman with i can't remember who it is robert pattinson or whatever like that batmobile looks like a twin turbo charge like mid-engine charger or something it looks pretty rad i'm not really looking forward to the movie but the car looks awesome but uh this is a special hot wheels release it was made in 2012 or 2013 um, it's nice. It's heavy. It's metal. That's plastic. The wheels are plastic. Um, I don't know why it's have, having a hard time focusing. Um, but this has come out in several different variations. It came out in mainline around the same time. Uh, it's been the the Hot Wheel, like the Walmart Batman Hot Wheel Special Edition. It's been on that card a couple of times. We haven't got a premium version of it. I assume at some point we can, but. Tomica or Tommy makes a sick version of this. It's like 20 bucks, but it looks, it takes this to the next level. But not, this is not bad for like 2.99 or whatever it was. This is a very solid casting for that amount of money. 
Um, it does roll pretty well too. Um, and this has the best Batman character. Let me see if I can get that. Um, it looks funny when he's not on the bike. He looks like he's taking a massive poop. Oh, Robin. Um, but it's the detail on it is is very nice. Like you can see, his he has a painted belt. He's got a painted face. Um, it's a it's and it's rubbery like the other one. Where's the corgi one? Is plastic like hard plastic? Fucking there it is. Like that's hard plastic, or this is rubber. Um, so you could kind of move his arms because he doesn't quite fit exact on it. Like his feet go into the the feet pegs back here. There's like little spots for him, but it's not exact. And then I don't really know where he's supposed to be hanging on. So I just shove his arms like in those holes. But it looks awesome when he's on it. Looks like he's about to go take down the Joker. So it's a pretty solid casting. Especially with the character. Without without the figure on it, it's it's okay. It's a good cat like it's a good especially if you collect Batman stuff, it's pretty good. But with the figure, it just it just takes it to the next level. So I'm a big fan of it with that figure on it. So it's pretty rad. Um and that's about it for today. I just wanted to cover those three bat cycles. Um, because they'll be posting up soon, hopefully. And then I'm going to have some more posts here soon. Everyone's stuck inside because um, nobody's really allowed to travel and do things now. So I'm going to try to bust out a couple videos, possibly one a day. Um, I know this is one of the ones I want to cover next. And it's the, what it, like, RIMS or RMZ City. This is the Maserati Gran Turismo. This is one of my favorite cars in real life. And Hot Wheels doesn't have the Maserati licensing. And a lot of people don't make Maseratis. So I was pumped to find this on eBay. But I'm going to post about this one. Like do a little review on this one soon. It's pretty rad. But um, I also have a, like 30 vintage and brand new NASCARs that I plan to open sometime soon. So I'll probably do a video on that. And like a little review of each. So uh, thanks for watching. Check out Langley Group. Um, check out the blog. They do a ton of good stuff over there and, uh, hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys.